Hello. Uh, my name is uh, Zdenko Mago, and I am a PhD student of the um, Department, Department of Mass Media Communication and Advertising at uh, Konstantin the Philosopher University in the Nitra. And uh, this is my topic, Tetris as a tool of gamification in marketing communication. Uh, I, create, I, have, uh, I had created this uh, topic uh, actually before I realized that uh, uh, this year uh, Tetris celebrates 30th anniversary. So uh, let's see uh, what happened during the uh, 30 years with this cold game. In uh, 1984, Alexei Pashitnov uh, developed this game in former USA, and in a couple of years, it, uh, uh, world uh, it spread worldwide. Um, uh, 1989, uh, Tetris uh, became a part of uh, console uh, Game Boy. I, mean, I think you know this. This is ga Game Boy of my childhood. The funny part is I wanted a real Game Boy, and I, I got this. And uh, there's uh, many things to uh, talk about, but we didn't have a time, so let's keep to 2014. Uh, in this year, or up to this year, uh, there is uh, more than uh, 170 million sold copies and 425 million paid mo mobile downloads what, uh, made from uh, Tetris, one of the top selling game of all time. Uh, maybe uh, like, uh, let's say, uh, like paying um, homage for this game, uh, it become an inspiration for um, closing ceremony of Paralympics uh, 2004 in Sochi. <laughs> and when you see this, this only about two minutes, uh, you can start thinking about gamification. What? But what actually is gamification? No, uh, it's not so easy to say because I found 18 different uh, definition of this term, uh, which is different. Uh, and, uh, many authors said that uh, Huotari and Hatami made the first uh, um, academic definition of uh, gamification, but According to many others, uh, Deering's uh, definition of gamification is the most uh, uh, used in general way, uh, including uh, the academic. Shortly, gamification is the use of game mechanics, design, or elements in non-game context to reach the goal or solve a problem. That's the general. Of course, marketing like to uh, take parts from other fields, so gamification is a, a good uh, field to reach uh, marketing goals. So what's the marketing meaning? Uh, the best expression uh, for this had uh, Jan Bogost, uh, paradoxically in a, in a paper uh, where he, uh, he criticized marketing use of ga gamification. He said the very point of gamification is make the sale uh, easy as possible. And that's actually true. He used the term exploitation where. Uh, with uh, gamification uh, and marketing, it's not so easy because uh, marketing started, uh, has started to use gamification a long time before the gamification be, uh, came to the center of attention. At the time, it doesn't call gamification. So as every new stuff and new creative way uh, how to make marketing, it become a part of guerrilla marketing, what means to make, uh, uh, to maximize uh, their profits at lowest costs. Now, uh, here is an example of how can uh, uh, gamification can, see, uh, can look uh, in a real uh, marketing uh, process. Oh my god, the underneath! Oh my god, why? 
Oh, you have levels, obstacles. This is creative marketing. Uh, right now, I started to uh, think about how much is Tetris used in commercials. So I started to search in web, and I found man many examples. Um, uh, I found a couple of uh, brands like um, uh, Kia, uh, Ikea, Volkswagen, uh, Fujifilm, even Batman, when, when it's uh, re uh, releasing the movie, Garnier or Dior. Here is an example of an uh, audiovisual commercial. This is for uh, Chevrolet. And uh, all of this uh, using uh, uh, game mechanics of Tetris, but not in an interactive way, just uh, to presentation in uh, audiovisual. So in Central European, it was quite more difficult to find uh, such an example. In, uh, Poland, uh, there, uh, there was only one project uh, from su uh, students in Wroclaw, and they made uh, on one a building um, interactive lights and uh, lights, and uh, uh, one of these uh, this performance was Tetris. And in uh, Czech Republic, it's um, animation for uh, Chesobe Bank to uh, explain how a couple of uh, uh, mechanism works it, in bank. It's not uh, uh, important, just like uh, example. And the first one, uh, the third one is Slovak example, but uh, I get to this uh, at the uh, research part. So, short way, there, is, uh, there was uh, almost 41% uh, commercials uh, using Tetris uh, for brands of cars, their furniture, cosmetics, and then others. Important, uh, important, interesting thing <laughs> is uh, that uh, almost 46% uh, uh, of the, these uh, commercials use original tetri Tetris music. And the last part I was interested in this uh, content analysis, small content analysis, was um, uh, the purpose why they use uh, uh, Tetris in these commercials, that Tetris meaning. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't so metaphoric like uh, Janet Murray said. Uh, most, uh, the, uh, most used was uh, to express well-organized space or safe, safe space, enough or extra space. Now, uh, I uh, made with an opinion that uh, this use is not a gamification. My statement uh, to this opinion is, if advertising or the non-gaming context, uh, context uh, used uh, or is based on non-narrative games, it uses actually its game design and mechanics, what is included in the most of definition of gamif gamification. It means that using elements from such games like Pac-Man, uh, Space Invaders, or Tetris uh, for non-gaming purposes, it also kind of gamification and everything else is just form of presentation that's mediating, mediating through some medium like television. So, that's the key point of my, uh, of my work. And then I uh, started to research uh, perception of these tetrificated commercials. I uh, choose two TV commercials, one that Slovak example of uh, Tetris used in commercials, and one is common uh, uh, commercial uh, for uh, Prima Bank. Both the, uh, the same object 
of co commercial. Uh, it means uh, transfer of uh, uh, loan from uh, one bank to another and, and to gain uh, better payment. And one and advert game. I had 75 Slovak participants. Uh, primary plan was uh, uh, to uh, uh, realize this uh, research uh, in uh, Czech Republic too, but there was a techni technical problems and I didn't find uh, example of uh, tetrificated uh, commercial in uh, Czech Republic. Uh, here is the um, ratio of uh, gender and uh, all participants were uh, between uh, 25 and 45 years old and almost 80% uh, of them was employed. What is uh, interesting, uh, uh, almost 47% uh, of them were not players. They don't play games, actually. Here are the tu commercials. Splátky za kreditnú kartu, hotovostnú pôžičku, televízor alebo práčku. U nás si všetky pôžičky spojíte do jednej a časť mesačných splátok necháte jednoducho zmiznúť. Hm? Ale chcelo by to ešte niečo. Čo keby sme vám za uzavretie zmluvy dali 3000 bodov klapkárt na nákupy v Tesku? Perfektné. Navštívte stánok Tesco finančné služby a ušetrite ešte dnes. For the uh, latest comparison, I uh, add one, let's say, advert game. But technically, it's uh, in-game advertising. But uh, I uh, just uh, let them see only short video, so I could uh, name it ad ad advert gaming. So Toyota Corolla is here, something like a uh, bonus. Now the results. <laughs> uh, I use a uh, uh, methodology of uh, uh, or technique um, of semantic differential uh, to gain a polar profile of these uh, commercials. And their comparison uh, was quite interesting because uh, as you can see, the Tesco Financial the, with Tetris, uh, uh, People uh, uh, perceive this advertising like uh, original, simple, con uh, you know, yeah, yeah. convincing, or um, what say, uh, creative, creative and effective. Uh, there was no negative meaning. There was a, um, uh, which uh, would have a higher wa value than other advertisements used in this research. All possible way. Uh, Prima Bank, that common advertising, there is uh, uh, what's, what is static, it's simple, uh, but is uh, uh, too, uh, it's too formal and too common. And the la uh, last one, to the advert game, of course, uh, most dynamic, um, but uh, and mo most uh, uh, funny and playful, but there was a problem mo most unconvincing and ineffective. So, what's the conclusion of this? Uh, in marketing view, using a Tetris or Tetris game mechanics or gamification for uh, uh, advertising purposes has, uh, has a point. There is, uh, of course, uh, uh, we can find um, limits of the, uh, this research, but uh, we can say something like uh, mm, uh, uh, there, there is a point we, uh, we can start to next uh, research. Uh, so I think when uh, um, um, marketing uh, completely starting, uh, when marketing will uh, start, it to, uh, start to use uh, gamification and uh, uh, big way, let's say, uh, it's uh, become uh, more uh, uh, more acceptable from uh, from uh, recipients. But uh, there uh, may be a problem with uh, 
marketing game uh, is not on the same level and a uh, couple of people they don't want it to get marketing and uh, games to the same level i i understand uh, these meanings and i uh, i like games too but uh, i like the creative waves and cre uh, cre uh, cre uh, creativity in marketing that's the uh, main reason i'm doing what i'm doing so I think that's all I wanted to say. So thank you for your attention, and I would like to uh, answer your question. Maybe, okay, okay, after this. So thank you.